Hello Stampers! I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Benasha, Wisconsin. Today is Sunday, October 6th and welcome to my Facebook Live class. I'm so excited about the things I have to show you tonight. Do you guys ever get that way? You get a little giddy when you make stuff? I do, obviously. I'm very passionate about paper crafts. Hello, Connie, Jenny, who else just came in here? Susan, I think, just popped in. Teresa, welcome, Carol. I'm going to find myself on my screen here so that I can monitor those comments a little bit better. Hi, Roz, Stephanie, Jody, Donna, welcome. So, did you guys have a good weekend? I know, I'm waiting to hear from everybody. <laughs> I had a busy weekend. Um, let's see, Friday night we went over to my sister-in-law's house. She had a bed that she wanted to give away. And she texted me and said, do you guys want a bed? And I'm like, um, yeah. <laughs> they always have really, really nice stuff. So um, I took my stepdaughter Anna and her husband Scott, Molly, we all went over to my sister-in-law's house and got picked up this bed and then we gr went and grabbed carry out fish fry Friday night because that's what we do in Wisconsin and um, had dinner with them so that was nice and then I spent the rest of the night getting ready for my card buffet Saturday morning and Saturday morning till Saturday afternoon we stamped with a whole bunch of lovely ladies and then I had to run to Kohl's because I had to take something back from Amazon and I had Kohl's cash to spend, so I had to do that, right? You have to shop when you have Kohl's cash. <laughs> I got a really cool um, fall decoration. I should have brought it in here, but I didn't. I'm sorry. But anyways, yeah, it was a busy day. And then I treated myself. Do you guys ever do that? Like Steve was gone hunting since last Wednesday, and so he's not here to cook for me. And rather than call a friend and go out to lunch, which is what I usually do, um, I bought myself some scallops and I ate like a queen. I broiled scallops and I made some American fries with some baked potatoes that he had cooked before he left. And mm, that's what I just had for supper. So out of these scallops that I bought, I got, there'll be three meals. I have one more left. I had one yesterday. I just got done eating today and I'll be able to eat the rest tomorrow. Ah, I love seafood. Oh. So, and scallops are like on my diet plan. I'm pretty sure I can completely have those. I'm not really dieting that much anymore. <laughs> but Linda says, great interview with Shannon for your card buffet. So for those of you who may not know, Shannon West is our DDM. And that is called, uh, develop, Development Manager. District Development Manager or something like that from Stampin' Up. And she actually had me zoom in with her and then she shared her screen and we did a Facebook Live for all the demonstrators all over the world showing them my card buffet and it was really fun. It was, it was nice. I'm part of the Great Lakes um, Advisory Council for Stampin' Up. So it was a pleasure to do that and I got so many nice comments. So thank you. <laughs> Somebody said they just bowled a spare. Good for you. Um, gosh, I missed that comment. They roll through so fast on my phone, it's hard to see. So anyways, and today I pretty much spent the rest of the day getting ready for tonight. Um, Haley and Jared stopped over. I got to see some of the wedding pictures. So they're going to come back again tomorrow night, and I think they'll bring the wedding pictures, so I'll have them send me some so I can share them. These are the professional photo photos, so that'll be kind of fun. Um, Anna is in the process of moving, and she, she and Scott bought a new house, so they don't have any food at their house. So she messaged her dad and said, Dad, I don't have any food. And we need to eat tomorrow night. So Steve is making crock pot lasagna for everybody. And Haley and Jared and Anna and Scott and Molly and Andy are coming over for supper. So that should be really cool. And I'm glad that I'm going to be here. I don't have any stamp clubs or any. Oh, darn it. It just dawned on me. I will not be here. I have a team meeting tomorrow night. Doggone it. Well, I love that I have a team meeting, but. Hmm. Yeah. And the Packers won today. Woot, woot. Go Pack. 
that was exciting. I don't know that the game was that exciting, but they beat the Cowboys. So sorry for, sorry, Cowboy fans, but yeah. And what else can I tell you? I hired a new assistant. This is funny. Meet Alexa. <laughs> I got, um, Haley got me one of these for Christmas and Steve kind of took it over. And so I decided that I needed one for my stamp studio and she is going to take notes for me and keep them in different lists, I hope. I'm not really quite sure how this is going to work yet. And does anybody know, can I change Alexa and her voice to like hot Australian man or something like that? Can you do that? I know I did that with my GPS one time. <laughs> I would rather talk to a hot Australian guy than Alexa. So, <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, I asked Steve if he would hook this up for me. And um, I'm hoping to be able to tell it stuff and then have a list. You know, like, Alexa, please add um, XYZ video idea to my video list. And she'll do that. And please add, you know, um washi tape to my product list and so no everybody's saying no I can't change Alexa to a hot Australian guy <sighs> maybe I need to talk to Amazon about that <laughs> okay <clears throat> let's see we have some announcements here oh Sa Sally says she changed her Siri and she wishes she could change Alexa but you can't so hmm. wow well. Maybe in the future they'll have that option. I would like that. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. So <clears throat> I have been jail free for over a week now. I have not been thrown back in Facebook jail. I'm sure that I am not out of the woods yet. But again, I want to tell you guys that thank you all for your comments, your likes on my posts. I wish I could like back and answer and reply, but I'm just afraid that I'll get thrown back in jail. So just know that I am seeing everything that you're putting on there and I so appreciate it. Please don't stop because I am not reacting. Um, I just want to stay out of jail. <laughs> yeah. And then let's see. Um, I told you Steve went hunting. He didn't get anything, but he thoroughly enjoyed himself. That's where, that's his place is in a tree someplace. So, um, and he got to spend some time with my mom and she loves to have company. So that's cool. He also told me that he spilled an entire bowl of clam chowder soup in my summer home. Thank goodness it was on the throw rug. <laughs> And for those of you that may not know, my summer home is a camper that I bought last year, I think. And I call it my summer home because that's fancy, right? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, that's where he lives when he goes hunting, is in my summer home. It was here in the driveway almost all summer, and we never even went any place with it. <laughs> so, whatever. Yeah, at least I've got, I've got a summer home. I don't know why. Um... Let's see, I have a brand new online class that was released last Friday. Well, it wasn't released. Pre-registration was released. So I showed you guys a video using the Let It Snow suite of products. And also I'm taking pre-registration on my cardstock pre-cut packs. And that is a pre-cut pack of all the cardstock that goes, um, so you can make all the cards and tags that are in the kit. And let me grab one quick, if I can get through my maze here. I've got stuff stacked everywhere. I still have, hang on, I'm almost back. <laughs> I still have about nine of these gather, come to gather kits, okay? These are huge, and I wanted to give you guys some stats on this. This particular kit, this, is, this was very interesting, and I don't often keep track of this stuff, but this particular kit took 19 woman power, not man power, 19 woman power hours just to cut and pack this and get it to the post office. Wow, right? And yes, I did have help. So that's the hours combined of me and Kathy working on this. Kathy is my one of my assistants and friends and team members, and she was here from 2 in the afternoon until 10 p.m. helping me one day, and that still wasn't done. Um, we still weren't finished, but 
there's over 4,600 pieces of cardstock that we touched putting into these kits, which just seems really crazy. None of that time includes designing the cards, taking photos, editing photos, um, doing the videos for the online class, typing up the project sheets, getting all the dimensions and stuff in there, putting that all together, blogging for the class, or any marketing. It includes none of that. So I was like, whoa, right? Now, the reason why I'm telling you that is because I found it fascinating, number one. And number two, if you ever think that these cardstock packs aren't worth what we're charging for them, believe me, we're not charging enough. <laughs> we should be charging more. So they are totally worth it. And if you figure how long it takes you, this was 12 cards and a card box, how long it takes you to cut all the layers of for 12 cards and a box, yeah, these are crazy. So I'm glad to be offering them. I couldn't do it without my industrial size paper cutter. Um, where's my white? Here's my white. I took an entire ream of white cardstock and cut it into four by five and a quarter inch pieces so that I have them at my fingertips so I don't have to like take a sheet out about, you know, the insides of your cards. But I can cut <clears throat> three packs of paper at one time with this industrial paper cutter. So that's how I am able to be able to do these pre-cut cardstock packs. I have nine of the Come Together online class cardstock packs available. You can get the online class for $25 or you can get the cards, the um, online class with this pre-cut cardstock pack for $40. Or if you buy the suite from me, I think it was $90, um, you just sign up for it on my online class on my blog and I order all the products, have them shipped right to you and I mail you this and send you the online class. So um, it's 12 exclusive, or I should say, it's vid exclusive videos for 12 cards and a box. And <laughs> I knew somebody was gonna see that new paper cutter back there, do you guys? Oops, let me see. This is backwards. Do you guys see that? Yeah, I'm going to show you that tonight. Woohoo! <laughs> I knew somebody would spy that little devil. So anyways, I just wanted to share that with you. I also wanted to tell you guys, if you ever have trouble with the current host code, putting that in on your orders, do not fret about it. Just go ahead and finalize your order. I can go to Stampin' Up! and I can have your order moved into the host code. You don't need to worry about that. Um, cause sometimes people are like, oh, I couldn't get the code to work or I don't know where the code is. And code is always in the right hand column on my blog, www.astampabove.com. Or if you scroll down, it's always at the end of every single blog post that I do. And you can copy and paste it right into your order. So I just wanted to let you know that. Um, let's see what is happening this week. Well, Color Fusers Blog Hop is happening tomorrow and I have some super cute cards to share with you. We had um, a color challenge that was some oranges and basic black that it, it was really fun to create for. And da, 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 da. I also have a new Creativity Without Borders kit class coming. The information will be posted about that on Friday. We are going to be using the Brightly Gleaming Suite. And let me see if I can find that really quick. This is a beautiful suite with some gorgeous paper. And uh, this one. Yeah. So, so pretty. Here, let me see if I can get that up in there. All of these beautiful things that can be made with this. So, Ashley Pfeiffer and I from Canada. Ashley Pfeiffer from Canada and I. I'm not from Canada. <laughs> We are um, putting together an online class using the Brightly Gleaming, and this is going to be a kit class, just like the first Come Together kit class that I offered last month. So watch for that. These are really fun. It will come with a pre-cut cardstock pack and also product. So you get some things in there, some Stampin' Up! product as well. Um, oh, and then, personally... I'm getting my hair cut on Tuesday. That's kind of exciting because it just needs to be trimmed. It's been a while. My hairdresser had a baby, so she's been off for a little while. And I'm getting my tooth 
pulled. Ah, this one at Big Molar. Yeah, um, it's cracked and they say it's infected. Remember, I had some problems with it, but it's fine now. It doesn't hurt anymore. So I thought, nah, I'll just leave it. But you guys told me, no, 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 you can't do that. And the dentist, I went and got my teeth cleaned, had a checkup, and the dentist said, no, 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 you can't do that. So I'm going to get it pulled. And then um, I'm going to have to wait till it heals to get an implant. <sighs> Gosh. I just like, I'm going to get hives over this because I really don't like the dentist very much. And mm, drilling into my, ooh. So anyways, I'm not going to gross you guys out with the details. But do you know how much an implant costs? I hope you guys buy the rest of my kits. <laughs> That's one tooth is going to cost $4,000. Um, Pam just asked, how is Steve's knee doing? Enough about my tooth. Steve's knee is a little swollen, but it is doing fantastic. You know, he had to put up tree stands and stuff like that. So he probably did too much while he was gone, but, um, it's doing really well. He's hardly even, um, limping. I mean, there's a little bit of a limp there, but he's, he's doing really, really well. Thank you so much for asking. Um, Lynette says she has four other paper cutters and she still ordered the new one. Darn right you did. It's a great price. And we're going to talk about that new paper cutter in just a bit. Oh, Suzette says she has four implants. They were a breeze. Thank you so much because I've had some traumatic experiences at the dentist. And I'm not going to get into it, but oh, I just do not like the dentist. And probably because I inherited my dad's teeth. My dad had very bad teeth. Um, he had a full upper plate by his early 20s, and I'm sure that had something to do with, you know, living where he did, and no fluoride, and he grew up, you know, a long time ago. And, but um, it seemed like every time I go to the dentist, two to three cavities always, and it's just been a real problem for me all my life. And, um, yeah, I don't like, I don't like the dentist. So, Karen had two implants and said they weren't too bad. I'm going to show you the cards that I got in the mail this week. I got this from Claudia Pigeon, and I hope I said your name right, Claudia. I know you told me how to say it. Oh, I think it's in here. P Piegdon, Piegdon, Piegdon. Thank you. I knew I saw it someplace. Look at how pretty this is. These butterflies are die cut, and they like stick up in the front of the card. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And she was thanking her for the embossing folder, the paper pack, and all the beautiful cards and ideas that I share. So you are very welcome, Claudia. Thank you so much for this beautiful card. Then I got another card here. Whoops, hang on. I just pulled two out and lost an envelope. So I'm going to go diving on the floor. Um, this is from Ann Telecki. Look at how pretty this is. Yeah, very pretty. And Anne sent me a card with a note in it. She wanted to thank me for Sunday Lives and Wednesday videos and blog hops. And she's just being really nice. She's glad to see if surgery went well. And um, this was her entry for a card sketch. Good luck with bow hunting. Thank you so much. This is so sweet, Anne. Thank you so much. So what a very pretty card. I love that paper. And then I'm going to save this one because I got something else to show you there. This is from Karen Karst, Karsty. She told me how to say her name properly too. Look at how pretty this is. Oh my goodness. Oh, I got to turn on another light. Hang on. There we go. Is that a little bit brighter? Yeah, I think it is. Look at how pretty that is. So Karen said, thank you for all you do for your team. You'll never know how much I appreciate all that you share. And she came, she's been um, on my team for quite a while, but she just recently came to her first team meeting. And she said that she was so um, thankful that we made her feel so welcome at the September team meeting. So you are very welcome. I'm so glad you came, Karen, because they're fun. Or my meetings are fun. Um, speaking of team meetings, I have one tomorrow night and we do broadcast those live from the team meeting on Facebook so that even if you're not local, you can still enjoy the meeting and they're really fun. This next one comes from Jay Shante. Look at how pretty that is. 
And Jay sent me a thank you card thanking me for the ribbon that she won because she's part of my team. So I give away a lot of stuff to my team too. We have lots of door prizes. Thank you, Jay. That was very sweet. And then to show you this because this made me just belly laugh. Oh, I see Dee's coming in, Ashley. Hi, Ashley. So look at how cute this card is. Let's be friends forever. Isn't that sweet? And it says, my little jailbird. And this is from Wendy Sue Winter. And she is also a member of my team. This came with a gift. Are you ready for this, you guys? Because when I opened this, I laughed my butt off. Here we go. Facebook jail inmate number 48151623, repeat offender. <laughs> gonna wear this I love this shirt and anybody else who's dealt with Facebook jail can appreciate the humor here so Wendy Sue thank you so much for making my day because I really was laughing I actually sent her a instant message with a photo of me laughing with the shirt because it was so funny and then I also received another gift this week from Jaquel Hoffman Jaquel is from Fargo, West Fargo, North Dakota. And look at how, look at how, whoops, I'm gonna, let's see, you can see my address. I'm gonna cover hers up just because. But look at how cute she made this box. Yeah, she stamped up the uh, some cardstock, put it on the box, and here it comes, you guys. So, this was inside the box. I'm putting things back together here. Isn't this cute? Super, super cute. Buffalo check background and then the come together suite. Look at that. This is milk chocolate fudge caramel. Mm. Ghirardelli candy holder. Um, all of this was wrapped in tissue paper and this was on the front of the tissue paper. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. And... I got this beautiful card with the sweetest message in it. And <laughs> so there was a lot of messages. I'm not going to read them all to you, but she says, thank you so very much for all of the ideas, inspiration, most of all the stamping joy you share with me. I found your Pinterest in September of 2018 in the wee hours of the morning while nursing my newborn daughter. Now, a year later, you've become such a fun part of my week. From the tip videos to the blog hops to the Sunday lives, I love it all. I still catch up with you while rocking Hannah to sleep. She loves the sound of your voice. Is this not the cutest thing ever? She said, I figure it's never too early to introduce her to crafting. Oh my gosh. This was just so touching. And I just felt like, wow. I know that I make people happy, but holy cow, right? And check this out. This is what she sent me. It's a chalkboard. She's called it a chalkboard and she covered it with paper and then made this gorgeous framed art for me. And I absolutely love this. And then on the back, she put all the ingredients. Is that not the sweetest thing ever? I know. I was just like, you are kidding me. It was just so sweet. So I don't know what to say other than thank you so much, Jaquel. This is just so cool. Oh, and she included Dot's Homestyle Pretzels, which I have not eaten yet, but I'm going to. And these are the Pride of Dakota. See that little thing? The Pride of Dakota. So I'm going to keep these out here. And I am actually going to display this someplace in my office because it is just the bomb. So yeah, I love presents. <laughs> so it was so fun to get these. And I have to make sure that I keep that over here too. So put all this stuff back. Then we're going to award some prizes. Okay, let me put this cardstock pack away too. I have prizes. I have some fun new things. And let's see. We've got that and that. Uh, let's see. First of all, basic pattern decorative masks. I am giving these away. 
I drew names for everybody who made a comment under my last week's Facebook Live. Oh, and Jean says, I will love Dots pretzels. They're very addicting. Well, I'm glad that I only have that li this little bag then. <laughs> um, but anyways, the person who won for commenting is Mary Olson of Omro, Wisconsin. Mary, I am going to get these in the mail to you tomorrow. Congratulations. Then for sharing my video, I have the Brightly Gleaming Foil Elements, and this is part of the Brightly Gleaming Suite that I'm going to be releasing a kit class for on Friday. Kind of hard to see because they're foily and they're shiny. This was for sharing my video, and Lisa Meyer from Austin, Texas is actually the winner, and um, Lisa is my half-sister. So. Congratulations, Lisa. I know you're going to love these stars and or there's some ornaments. These are just gorgeous. And then I cleaned out my closet a little bit. Well, it's not completely cleaned out, but I cleaned out a whole shelf. That counts, right? <laughs> when I was searching for something, I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> Anyways, I found a stamp set from last year that I absolutely loved and um I got it to give away as a door prize. I don't know why it never got given away as a door prize, but I'm going to give it away now. It's a fall set, and I think it's gorgeous. Pleasant Pheasants. Do you guys remember this one? It was one of my favorites from last year's holiday mini catalog. So if you look this up online, Pleasant Pheasants, Stampin' Up!, you're going to find tons and tons of ideas with this. The winner for placing an order with me last week is Linda Brox of Atchison, Kansas. That's different than Atchison, which is my last name. Atchison. That's what my dad used to call me. He would tell people my name was Kelly Atchison. <laughs> so funny. And I just, you know, I just let it go. It's like, who cares? My last name is Atchison, and this is Atchison. So, Linda from Atchison, Kansas is the big winner for this stamp set and I will get that out in the mail tomorrow also. And then remember the card layout? So I gave you guys a challenge using this card layout and we had over 30 people that added cards underneath the link on my Facebook page right here where you guys are right now that did the card challenge and that was so exciting I love it here's my envelope and my little fun little birdie I love this card layout so I put everybody's names in a drawing and the winner is going to get these coffin treat boxes perfect in time for Halloween and Mary Emilio of Worth Illinois you are the winner of the coffin treat boxes so Thank you everybody who participated. It was so fun seeing all the different variations because um, I, I just love to see all the different things done with one thing, right? That's why I kind of like blog hops. Like the theme for tomorrow is a color challenge. And I'm curious to see if everyone else is gonna be using the same bundle of products that I chose because the color scheme automatically made me think fall, pumpkins and that's where I went Shh, I'm not supposed to tell you about it <laughs> you'll see it tomorrow on my blog but anyways um that's why I love these challenges because you get to see so many different things with um the same layout or the same colors or a suite of products and you get to see all the different things that people make so that's really fun okay I'm gonna set that back there and then um should we do stamping now or should I show you this huge pile of Let It Snow swap cards that I have? What do you guys want? Do you want us to get right into the stamping or you want me to show you the swap cards? I can show you the swap cards at the end or I can show them to you now. What would you prefer? Let me know while I get a drink. Oh, Kathy was at Cran Fest. Oh, I used to go to Cranberry Fest. That's in Warrens, Wisconsin. I used to go there all the time and stay with my friend that lived in La Crosse. So much fun. We're going to stamp. Okay. I will show you all of these swap cards at the end, but you guys are going to have to remind me because I forget to do 
things later. Like, it's part of my memory problem. I don't know. So don't let me forget. Let me put my assistant over here. <laughs> I love that. Okay. Here we go. Urgh, this is heavy because there's lots of punches in it. Everybody says stamping. Okay, I'm glad I asked. Oh, Jenny wants to see the trimmer. Don't worry, we'll be getting that out with our next project because I have to use it. You're going to get to see it up close and personal. For this first card, we're going to be using the Day of Thanks stamp set. Kind of an overlooked little stamp set in the holiday mini catalog, but I fell in love with, well, number one, it's about Thanksgiving, and I love to send out cards for every occasion. I absolutely love the font on the sentiments. And then who doesn't love this feather? And the turkey is so realistic. Had to have it. Had to have it. Okay. Let me set everything up here so we can make a really cool card. If I do say so myself. All right. We are going to flip our camera around and get started. So if you get motion sickness, please close your eyes. I'm going to flip this camera around. Oh, my screen is in my window. Oh, no, that's not in my window. What is that? Oh, it's just my lights. Sorry, there's a little bit of a glare. Whoops. Back there. <laughs> this is so hard backwards. Okay, close your eyes. We're going to flip this over. Oh, you get to see my ugly ceiling fan. Yeah. Very attractive. I do have a new one. But Steve has never installed it, and he forgot, I'm sure, that there's even one there. It's sitting right in the hallway on the gun cabinet. <laughs> Don't you have a ceiling fan sitting on your gun cabinet? Yeah, let me unmirror my screen. There we go. So now you can read everything, right? Okay, we're good to go. You can open your eyes. I am not going to move things around anymore. So I got this um, Day of Thanks stamp set, and... I just, I don't know, I loved it. So I thought we better get some cards made for Thanksgiving. So I have one that I'm gonna share with you. Let me get all my layers out here. Oh, I wonder why I have two of those, that's weird. Oh, cause that one has a end missing off of it. Can't use that, contraband. Okay, here we go. Did I say that already? I know, I repeat myself a lot, it's a problem. So I have got Crumb cake here. We're going to start out with a crumb cake card base, four and a quarter by 11, scored it at five and a half. And I see I didn't score it very good. I'm really score challenged. I'll tell you. So we're going to use this for the front because the back is a little short and that'll be fine. Then I have a very vanilla envelope and oh, Lisa, you're on here. Did you hear that you won a stamp? You won something. What did she win? Oh, some foil, um, copper foil stars. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Carol says she keeps laughing out loud in my comments, and her husband and daughter keep asking what's so funny. <laughs> they just need to watch, duh. Uh, early espresso, four by five and a quarter. Same size of very vanilla for the inside. And then my front layer is three and three quarters by five. Then I've got a scrap of crumb cake, a scrap of vanilla, a scrap of copper foil, and a scrap of early espresso. We're gonna do our stamping here first. I'm gonna do the inside layer. Let me move these out of the way. And uh, here we go. We're gonna stamp our turkey. Okay, early espresso ink is what I chose for my turkey. Now, of course, you could use memento black if you wanted to, but I thought this would work fine, and it did. If you do not like to color, this is a gorgeous turkey. Like, it is so real looking, realistic, and detailed. You could leave this just like this, but I did decide to color. And I'm going to bring in my real red and I'm going to bring it right down here on the turkey's neck. Now, I have to admit that I needed to go out on Google and Google a turkey to see what color to color all this stuff. And I found it very interesting, that was real red dark by the way, this is light balmy blue, that the turkey's head is kind of a blue color, like it's creepy looking. Like turkeys are not attractive. <laughs> I mean, they're majestic birds, but they're really quite ugly. 
I'm just going to put that right out there. Then I've got um, Dark Mango Melody. Yep, Dark Mango Melody. And I'm going to color in his little beak and his feet. And then I brought in a Light Crumb Cake and the Bronze Marker. And I'm just going to color the turkey. Now, the, there were several different colors of turkeys. So there's black and white turkeys, there's brown turkeys. So I kind of made this about the brown turkey. That's where I went with my turkey. And I really do like this bronze color. It's just a really nice brown. So I'm just gonna color up my whole turkey here. Don't forget about his little beard. That's what people who hunt turkeys like, is like, oh, the beard was huge. It's like, whatever. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if there's any turkey hunties, hunters out there. I have never been turkey, turkey hunting, but everybody says it's a lot of fun. I believe that, but I boycott the price of a license to go turkey hunting. And here's why. I can get a whole deer license for $28, and they want me to spend more than that, I think, to get a turkey license, and I think that is outrageous. So that's why I've never been turkey hunting. Weird, right? I just, it's a thing. I'm, I think it's ridiculous. That I should pay that much money to get a turkey. And I can go to the store and buy turkey. I can't necessarily buy venison. I'm sure there are some places you could, but okay, there's my turkey. Pretty cool, right? That's pretty easy to color. Then we're gonna bring in our two inch circle punch. Oh, what color ink? You wouldn't really have to color the turkey. Oh, I used early espresso ink here. Sorry about that. I thought I said that. Maybe I didn't. Early espresso ink I thought was a really good color for the turkey. And it's a pretty nice looking turkey if I do say so myself. Even though turkeys are ugly. Um, and here comes my Starburst Punch with early espresso ink. Or I mean cardstock. <laughs> yeah, turkeys are cheap in the store. That's right, Diana. That's why I have such an issue paying that much money to go shoot one. Like, the heck with you. That's ridiculous. Okay, hang on. I got to get some dimensionals. Why do I never have dimensionals when I need them? Well, I guess I still don't have any, but I've got lots of edges. I would have to open up a whole pack. Oh, there's a few on here, I see. So I'm just going to cut these so they're ready to roll. And I've got a couple here that are big enough. So here's one, and here's one. I opened something up. You know like that plastic packaging on, it was an electronics item. I opened up the plastic packaging and it jammed underneath my nail. It didn't bleed or anything, but that hurts so bad. It's ridiculous. All right, enough about my whiny little owie. Um, <laughs> I'm going to bring in this, what is this called? Woodland? I think it's called Woodland embossing folder. Who knows what this is called? I can never remember this one. Oh, thanks, you guys. Everybody's saying that turkey's really cute. Thank you so much. I'm going to take my uh, smaller, oh, I almost messed that up, smaller layer of um, very vanilla and emboss it in this tree folder. So the magic of TD. I've already done that. And we are going to take our crumb cake ink and we're going to sponge. And now I just dipped my, can you guys see that? Am I, yeah, I'm on the screen. Um, I just dipped my sponge in crumb cake and I'm going to very lightly just dust the top of the trees. These trees are raised up. So you can hold on to it. And look at how that really makes them stand out. And it kind of gets into the grooves of the birch trees. Because these are birch trees. I may not know what a maple leaf is, but I do know what a birch tree is. <laughs> you guys remember when I was calling the maple leaf an oak leaf? Yeah, I didn't know. But I know what birch trees are. Look at how cool that is. And it's just super simple. I got a little bit of ink in between. Don't sweat it. Nobody's going to notice that. And it doesn't matter, quite frankly. Then we're gonna bring in that larger layer and we're going to stamp our greetings. So I've got this beautiful one, you fill my heart with gratitude this day and always. That's going in early espresso. I'm gonna stand up so I can see what I'm doing here. 
Oh, it's straight. Excellent. Then I'm going to take the, I love this font. Like this font makes me drool. I know I'm a little weird. Happy Thanksgiving in crumb cake ink. And we're going to stamp that right under here. Oh, beautiful. And then this may seem crazy, but we have red on that turkey. So I decided to use real red with the feather. And I'm just going to stamp my feather right here. And is that not just a total pop of color? I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool. Okay, let me get this closed up so we don't have any disasters. Because I think we're done stamping. We just have some embellishing to do. Yeah. Yeah, Teresa says that font is so pretty. This is just gorgeous. I love these fonts. All right, let's move this out of the way. And... Here comes the inside of our card. We'll get this in right away. There we go. And then we're going to take this layer and where's my tear tape? Does anybody see it? Tear tape. Okay. Oh, here it is. It's hiding under here. Don't lose my turkey. Nobody wants to lose their turkey. <laughs> I don't know why that tickled my funny bone. All right, we're going to take some tear tape. Now, you could use snail or anything pretty much to do this, but I'm just going to use tear tape because I'm going to put some um, burlap ribbon on here, and I don't want it coming off. Take your pick tool. has a nice little pokey end on it. We're going to peel this off, and here comes our burlap. I'm just going to put this straight across on top of that tear tape. And this will really secure that burlap ribbon down. Oh, I think I feel a hot flash coming on. Oops, man. Let me turn my fan on. If it gets too loud, just let me know. I'm going to turn it on low. Phew. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that feels good. And in a couple minutes, don't worry, I'll be cold. So, yeah. Okay, here's this. Then we've got all these scraps. So what I decided to do, oh, hang on, I gotta grab, where did that go? Well, you guys know the um, gathered, oh, I know it's in a different bin. The gathered leaves dies. I've shown these to you a whole bunch of times, right? This is the copper foil. So I die cut a leaf out of here that I'm going to use on this turkey card. I thought, why not bring that in here? Because turkey, fall, leaves, right? And then we've got this. And Wendy just said, is there a reason you use the glue instead of the tape runner? I prefer glue because you get wiggle room with glue. So if you glue this layer to here and you notice that it's not straight, you have wiggle room without ripping it up and moving it around. Plus, you get a lot more, um, you can make a lot more cards with this bottle of glue than you can with the tape runner. And nothing goes wrong with the glue. <laughs> like the tape runner, <clears throat> not that our tape runners are bad, they're very good, I do use them. But um, sometimes they don't come out right and whatever. I just really like the glue. I have them and I use them for certain things. So that's a really good question. All right, so there's that. Here's a couple sprigs of copper, and then I also want a couple sprigs of crumb tape. We're going to take those, and I am going to... Oh, hang on, my fan is doing something weird back here. Why is that oscillating? I don't want that going on. It's making me crazy. <laughs> Doesn't take a lot, people. I am going to put my sprigs right over here. Now my um, turkey's going to go over top of the stems. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. I think I'll do this way and this way. Yeah, I can turn these backwards so they're not all the same. Going the same way, looking really uniform. I don't like that. Unless I'm trying to achieve that look and I'm not. I just took a piece of tape and stuck it on here. Okay. Then I'm going to bring in my turkey layer, and I'm going to put that right about here, okay, 
and then my leaf, because this was a total afterthought. I had my card all done, and then I went, hey, let's put a maple leaf in there. Remember, maple, not oak. <laughs> I learned my lesson. There's that leaf. And here is our early espresso layer. We're gonna glue this onto here. This was very vanilla, by the way. And then we're gonna put this on the front of our card. And I literally just came up with this card about 30 minutes before I went live, you guys. And so this is another really fun, easy stamp set to create with because I certainly didn't have any problems. Here we go. I don't know if I like that leaf there. I'm going to pull that out. Let's see. Maybe it'll be better. Oh, I think I... Oh, jeez. <laughs> see how much of a mess I can make. I think I like it better over here. What do you guys think? Over here? I'm thinking I like it better over here. Let me get some more, let's put a little glue on there. There we go. Okay, and where'd my envelope go? Right here. And I thought I want to stamp my envelope up to match. Oh, thank you guys for all the love. I appreciate it. Put a turkey right there. <gasps> look at how cool that's gonna look coming in the mail, right? And then, because our happy Thanksgiving is so long, I thought it'd be really neat just to stamp that right on my flap. Look at that. Beautiful. What do you guys think? Yeah, easy, easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. For those of you, do you remember Bonnie Thurber? She worked for Stampin' Up. Oh my gosh, she was my favorite, favorite, favorite at Stampin' Up. And she's the one who started that easy peasy lemon squeezy. I will never forget that. I loved it. Okay, let me get this stuff cleaned up. And Day of Thanks is the name of the stamp set. If you don't have something for Thanksgiving, this is your set. It's super easy, love it. Beautiful, very realistic images, gorgeous. I'm very happy, I'm glad that I have it. Okay, here goes all the stuff. Because the next thing that I have to show you is so stinking adorable, you're not gonna believe it. Yeah, not even kidding here. Oh, I need my tear tape. Does that tell you anything? We're using that again. It doesn't really tell you anything, but you're going to love it. Okay. Hang on. Still throwing stuff in the bin. That was a lot of stuff. Next. So somebody emailed me, messaged me actually on Facebook Messenger, and I apologize. I can't remember who it was, and I was going to look it up so I could tell you, but I forgot. Are you guys sick of the gather together projects yet? Like, are you like, oh my Lord, is she using that again? I hope not <laughs> because I have had so much fun with this. I can't even tell you how fantastic this bundle is. And don't forget, I have the come together online pre-cut cardstock with a class. So if you want to get your hands on that, you'll find all the information on my blog. In the right-hand column is my online class button. So let me pull all my little elements in here. This is a little tricky. Here we go. I have to tell you, this involves chocolate. Whose attention do I have now? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I've got my directions here so I know what my scoring is. All my bits and pieces over here, this over here, this over here. Okay, we're using the Come to Gather Designer Series paper, the Gather Together stamp set, and the Gathered Leaves is the same leaf that I just did on this turkey card. We're gonna use the, that set of dies also. So let me set these off to the side. We're using Mary Merlot and Cajun Craze ink. And I'm going to bring in that paper cutter. This is the new paper cutter. Let me show you the old paper cutter. 
new, old. So our platform seemed like it was a lot bigger, but it's maybe just a little bit bigger. It's a good size platform on here with all your um, measuring tools. There are not a lot of bells and whistles with this with this paper cutter, and I really like that. Some people may be like, well, why not? Hey, bells and whistles, things break. When you don't have bells and whistles, you're doing good. So we've got our ruler extension that comes out here. We've got a cutting blade and a scoring blade. This lifts, lifts up and both the blades can get all the way out of your way to do 12 inch stuff. So that's cool. I always like that. Um, it's very lightweight and the best part about it is it's only $25. Now, how can you get one if you're not a discount shopper or a business builder demonstrator with Stampin' Up? Demonstrators were able to pre-order this starting October 1st, and we were also able to get one pack of blades, one paper cutter. As soon as the pre-order period of October is over, Stampin' Up! is going to re-evaluate where we're at with inventory, and then we will know when we're going to release this to the public. What they didn't want to happen is that they put this out here, out for everybody to order, and two weeks in, the demand was so huge that we sold out of them and they're, they're on back order. That's what they didn't want to happen. So this is kind of a new way to release something. They're releasing it to us first. We can only order one of each, which is fine. That's all I need for now. And then um, we'll evaluate the inventory and see where we're at and then uh, make it available to the public. So that's what's happening. So hang tight, $25. I know a lot of people are really frustrated that they couldn't get blades for the old um, cutter, and that's why we had to get rid of it. Um, but if you ordered three packs of blades, which was the max you can get on one order, it would have cost you $24. This is $25, brand new paper cutter. So it's, um, it's a pretty good deal. So let me show you. Now, I see Jenny just asked, um, how do you change the blades? So let me show you that. There's a little notch, I don't know if you can see that. There's a little notch right here. And I changed the blades because the cutting blade was on top and the scoring blade was down here on the bottom. And I do opposite with mine. My scoring blade is at the top, my cutting blade is at the bottom. But all you do, I hope I'm in my screen here. All you do is bring it down here into this notched area and pick it up when it's in that little hole. Oh, hang on, I almost lost my blade here and it pops right out, that's it. And you just put your new blade in there. Where'd that hole go, right there? Yep, that's right, it's good to go. Really easy to change blades. So I'm pretty happy with this one. All right, we are going to make the cutest treat holder ever. And if you're like, oh, treat holders. No, wait, 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 don't go any place. This is so adorable, you're gonna love it. So I found a couple different ones of these online. There's a demonstrator in the UK who was featuring this, but she was using a different size. And um, then there was another demonstrator in the United States. And like I said, somebody that instant messaged me brought this to my attention and said, hey, would you make this? And I'm like, oh yeah, I will. <laughs> you know I will. So what we're gonna start out with, um, I am right now using mint macaron cardstock. In a minute, we're going to switch over to Cajun Craze, but I'll tell you about that in a second. This is mint macaron cardstock, and this is eight inches by seven and three quarters. All of these dimensions will be shown above the, the Facebook Live video when we're done, and I post it to my Facebook page. You're also going to find still photos for all these projects with dimensions and all the details with a shopping list of all the ingredients that I've used. On my blog later tonight, I think I'll be able to get it done. But anyways, eight by seven and three quarters. And what you're going to do is you're going to score on all four sides at a half an inch, one inch, one and a half, and two inches. I've already scored this side, this side, and this side. So we're going to score the last side at a half an inch. So I've got my cardstock pushed up here to a half an inch. And then one inch. And then one and a half inches, and I turn it around because I'm going to go this way now. You guys all realize that I do that, right? It's just easier to keep your paper straight. And then two inches. So half inch, one inch, one and a half, and two. 
And now we've got this whole pattern of score lines on here. Now on the seven and three quarter inch side, I'm gonna measure and see which one that is. It's this edge right here. This is seven and three quarters, this is eight. On this side, we're gonna go in two and a half inches, and we're just gonna score from the second score line to the top, okay? Second score line to the top. I think I went a little beyond, but we'll be fine. Second score line to the top. Now we're gonna go over to five and a quarter and do the same thing. So it's just two and a half inches this way, two and a half inches that way. I hope I'm not confusing anybody. Okay, do I have my score line? I need to do it a little bit further. There we go. Okay, so we've got a little score line here and a little score line there. We're gonna do the same thing on the other end. Now don't go any place. Don't go like, oh my Lord, I can't make this. Yes, you can, you can do it. I have all the faith in you and your friends are gonna be so amazed when we're done with this because it's just the cutest thing ever. Okay, so I've got five and a, whoops, did I do that? Yep, that one's done. All right, now, once you get this done, we are going to take and cut out all the little waffle pattern in the corners, on all four corners. So you're just gonna take your snips, cut on the score line corner, and cut all four of these out, okay? Just like that, all four corners. This is where we're gonna switch to Cajun Craze because that's what I'm using to make my project. Don't pay attention to my colors. So here's all four corners, okay? I cut them all out. And now remember the little score lines that we did only to the second line? Here's what we're gonna do with those. Make sure I got enough light in here so you can see. You're gonna cut on that score line and then you're going to cut from the end of that out to the outside edge to do a slant or a diagonal. And again, cut on that little score line that we did and then out to the edge. So then this is what we have, okay? On both ends. There we go. Here we go. Okay, that's it. Now, your other piece of cardstock, this one is nine by four and a quarter. Nine by four and a quarter. You're gonna score this at four and a quarter and four and three quarters. Four and a quarter, four and three quarters. Just like that, okay? Now, I am going to make this up into one of these little boxes, but I'm going to do that probably tomorrow because I already have the Cajun Craze one going here, so I didn't have to bore you with all the score lines and all the cutting and all the this, that, and the other thing. So now we're going to burnish on our score lines. And just take your bone folder. Burnish. Burnish. Okay, so then this is what we end up with. This is the cover for our little box. I've already folded and burnished all of these score lines, every single one of them. So now we're going to be ready to put our box together. And again, we're gonna use tear tape for this part because tear tape is super duper strong and I love it. And I'm going to bring in my silicone mat here because I don't want to get tear tape stuck to my surface, my table. This, these edges that we cut a di diagonal, we're going to do those last. We're going to do the straight edges first. Oh, <laughs> Kim says she's such a cluster when she makes things. I know what you mean, but trust me, you can do this. We're going to put our tear tape on. I folded this over, okay? We're putting the tear tape on close to the fold line, and then we're gonna fold this tab over, not tab, but edge, I guess, and put our tear tape on. There we go. Ugh. And then, where did my pokey tool go? Right here. Pull off the backing, pull off the backing, I can remember when we used to make boxes and we would hold those boxes up and we would try to get them square as we're trying to put all the edges together 
and I don't know who came up with the brilliant idea to lay everything flat, but it was wonderful. Okay, so this tab is folded over like this, and you want to just fold it in half. So we've got one, two, two score lines here, and you're just going to squish it down, okay? Just like that. So it makes a little tube right there, okay? This one, we're gonna do the same thing. Two tabs, one, two, and you're gonna make a little tube just like that. Now, on the ends where we cut it at a diagonal, I'm gonna use glue because I need a little bit of wiggle room, and that was a really good question that you asked before. I'm also gonna put a little dot of glue on these little corners right here, okay? Do you see that? Now, we're gonna take this one, and we're gonna fold it in just like that, and now we're gonna bring these up here, and I can see that I magically scored wrong again. So genius, Kelly. But I'm gonna keep going here because <laughs> I don't have time to redo this all. So make sure you score correctly. My measurements that I gave you are the correct measurements. I don't know what I did wrong. I did my first one wrong too. The second one turned out great. Then, Again, fold this tab in. I think I just got glue. Oh, no, that's paper. I was gonna say, do I have glue all over my finger? You're gonna fold this in and fold it right under. That's gonna go right up here. And these are our mitered corners. That, that diagonal that we cut is a mitered corner. So do you see how this creates a little box? And you want the mitered edges to hang in there and stick. So this is what we've created. I don't know why that's not sticking. Hang on. Okay, now this is our cover. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit of stamping. So I took my nested label shapes and I die cut the bigger one out of this paper. And the smaller one, we're going to stamp a greeting. Where did my, you guys see? Oh, here it is. I'm gonna bring this back in here. Um, Mary Merlot. And we are going to stamp the greeting that says, may the season bring you smiles and love that will last all year long. And we're gonna die cut that on here, okay? And of course, magically, I have it. And remember, I said I was gonna die cut this paper. Here's that, so we've got that too. And then, where is our scrap? Here's our scrap of Cajun Craze. We are going to take the pumpkins in the Mary Merlot ink, because I thought, meh, why change it? It's gonna be fine. So we're gonna do pumpkins. And we are going to use the framelits that come with the gathered leaves and die cut these. Just like, whoops, just like that. And of course, I've already done that. You don't have to wait for me. And then there should be another copper leaf here someplace. And did I honestly just toss it in the garbage? I might have. So, you guys, I don't see it here. Oh, nope, not a copper leaf. I've got a Cajun Craze leaf. Okay, so I die cut one of those using the leaf. And then we've got a little bit more stamping to do. So, here comes the rest of our pieces. I've got a Whisper White piece that's four by four. Oops, hang on, I just dropped a piece. Where did it go? Oh Lord, is that it? Nope. Hang on, oh here it is. I couldn't see it because it's almost the same color. And then I've got three pieces. These are all four by four. Oh, this one needs to be smaller than that. Yep, hang on. 
Oh, it is. Three and three quarters by three and three quarters, and then three pieces of four by four designer series paper. So here we go. We're going to get this all put together, and you're going to be amazed because I was amazed. Like, I was like, oh my gosh, this is the coolest. I can't wait to make some more of these using different papers. Oh, it's going to be fabulous. Okay, then I think I'm going to take this and add a dimensional. Did you get, oh, here's my dimensionals. I think Steve just came home. He went down to his grandson's birthday party tonight for a family dinner. I was sad that I couldn't go, but you know, that's the way it goes. You gotta work, you gotta work. Okay, then we're going to take our detailed trio punch, and I love the corner rounder on here. So I'm gonna round two corners on here. We're gonna round the corners on the cover for our box. all four corners on here. There we go. And then this piece, only two corners. And this piece, two corners. This is all gonna come together shortly. Then I'm gonna do two corners on this three and three quarter by three and three quarter white layer. I love this punch by the way detailed trio punch it does three different things so it's pretty cool I'm going to take the maple leaf and use the Cajun craze ink and I'm going to stamp that in the bottom right corner now notice that my rounded corners are at the top here. Okay, we can start putting this together. This is gonna be fun. So, this goes on the front. Yep, don't wanna mess up at this point, right? Cajun Craze is my base, and now we're bringing in this Mary Merlot, which is super pretty. Oh, shoot, I shouldn't have done that yet. Hang on. Um. I need to put my ribbon on first. Now you need about 16 to 20 inches of ribbon. You want to be able to tie a nice bow. So I'm going to do just about this much. That should work pretty good. And then to hold my ribbon in place, I'm going to use tear tape. I'm just going to run that right down the middle. You can use anything you want. You can use glue dots. You can use whatever you think will work best for you. But I'm going to use tear and tape. Get that off. I, I don't want this moving on the front. And once we put the um, paper over it, it's really not going to anyways. Make sure this is even so you can tie a nice bow. I'm just kind of holding it up here. Yep, it looks pretty darn good. Coming down through the middle. And then if you want to, again, mini glue dots, tear and tape. I'm just gonna use tear and tape as long as I have it out here. I'll put a little bit down here, keep this secured. Ribbon, ribbon, who's got the ribbon? That's right. <laughs> oh, well, Angela, I'm glad you think that. Angela says she loves my methodology, and uh, it makes her feel so much better about her desk. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, so here's our cover. Now we're going to glue that piece on. Is this the one I already stuck glue on? Where is it? Right here. Okay, hang on. Add some more glue because my glue just dried up. And here comes our Mary Merlot. This is the Come Together Designer Series paper that is so amazing. This one is for the back. Now you don't have to do paper on the back, but I like to have a finished product. And this works really good to make it finished. It looks really nice. Okay, so here's what we have so far. 
And then on the inside, I decided it would be neat to have a layer of the designer series paper just as a border around the part that I can write my greeting on. So I did that. And then I'm going to do this. And this is where I can write who it's to, why I'm sending it, my little message. Okay. This is going to go on the front. And I think I'm going to put that right in the middle with dimensionals. There we go. What are you guys drinking tonight? I've got my standard strawberry lemonade. And, uh, yeah. It's been working well for me. Strawberry lemonade. Cheers, everybody. Okay, here comes this. I think I'm going to put this one right in the middle. I got another one to show you, too, that's super cute. And then where did my big pumpkin? Here's my big pumpkin. We'll put a dimensional on the back of that. I'm going to put it kind of towards the bottom. I'm going to let that come over, kind of... Um, overlap over the edge right here and then we've got this leaf whoops <laughs> hang on wait till you guys see my video tomorrow oh my gosh it was a cluster and a half but I had fun you'll giggle with me I'm sure isn't that just pretty now you can make a card with all of these elements too but instead you're gonna need to have six pieces of the designer series paper and this is one by three and we're going to cover some nuggets. So I'm going to grab my silicone mat. This is just nice so I don't get tear and tape on my surface any place. It'll go on here and it'll rub right off. So that's what the silicone mat is really good for. I'm going to share a tip about tear and tape on, I think, my Wednesday tip video too. So watch for that. Now, you're going to line up your 1 by 3 inch piece of designer series paper with the wrapper on the back of your Hershey Nugget and pull it around there nice and tight. Now, if you use glue, I have found that these will stick together today, but tomorrow or the next day they fall apart. So, tear and tape is your best bet here. And then, like I said, I goofed up with this a little bit, so it's not quite as square as I would like it to be. You guys probably can't even see that. But, I have, where did it go? Six little nuggets that are going to fit right in here. I have already wrapped them with the designer series paper. Six little Hershey nuggets. And then you're going to take this and put it inside here. So what I like to do is grab a little bit of tear and tape and I'm going to put that right here. You don't have to do this part. You could leave it and just put glue on the bottom part here, but I just thought it would be nicer if that stayed where I wanted it to stay. Okay, so I'm just going to put this in here and I'm going to push it up, push it up to the fold, make sure it's centered from side to side. Push that against there good. And now I'm going to, whoops, <laughs> dump all my Hershey Nuggets on the table, add some serious glue back here, and glue that down. Now, I'm seeing that this is pulling on my box a little bit, so maybe putting that on there, well, if my box was glued together the right way, it wouldn't be coming apart. But look at how stinking adorable this is. And you're going to just tie this up in a nice bow. This is, by the way, this is the combo pack come together ribbon that comes in the suite. Don't forget, you guys, I will link this in my online class. But I have, I still have some packages left. Look at that. Isn't this the cutest thing ever? Can you see this for Valentine's Day, for Christmas, for... You know what? As I'm looking at this, I don't think I'd put that tape in there. I would just glue it to this bottom panel. So amend my instructions and don't do that because it's really pulling on the edge here that I didn't get glued well. But it makes like a little frame. It's like a little box inside of there. Do you guys want to see the other one that I made that did stick together right, that I scored right? Yeah. Hang on. Let me bring it in. 
because this was super fun. If I would have had more time today, I would have made more of these for sure. Like for every occasion. I just had so much fun. So you guys know that I'm going to um, Kansas in next week, I think. And so I thought this would be really neat to make these for my cousins because I haven't seen them in years. And it'll be a nice little gift for me to share my paper craft with them and they can have some candy to boot. So here's another one I made, the same bundle of products, the same designer series paper. I used Pretty Peacock and this is copper foil here. Look at that. What do you think? Stinking adorable, right? Now you can see that my frame is holding together better. Oh, and it really isn't having trouble being glued to this top edge up here. That's what I was worried that it would cause undue stress on it. This is Pear Pizzazz with Pear Pizzazz ink and Pretty Peacock. These candies, oh, I didn't know they were going to be orange. These are the Hershey Nuggets that are extra creamy milk chocolate with toffee and almonds. And they're orange. I didn't know they were going to be orange. So it actually worked out pretty good, but then if I want to make a Christmas one, I don't want orange, right? Which was what I wanted to get done for you guys, and I kind of ran out of time. So Debbie likes the plaid better. Yeah, the plaid really pops. Now this is pear pizzazz and I stamped the maple leaf with pretty peacock. Again, pretty peacock and pear pizzazz. This wheat is stamped off once so it didn't take over everything. And I just took the same framelits and made them go this way instead of this way. Super cute, right? So... I will find out who sent this to me, sent me this idea and said, hey, can you make this for Facebook Live? Because I need to thank you. This was so much fun. I just thought it was a blast. So there we have some really cool candy holders. You could make a Halloween, Valentine's Day, Christmas. Um, what else do we have? Easter? Oh my gosh. All kinds of stuff. This would be wonderful for Secret Santa to sit on somebody's desk at work if you do Secret Santa. Or again, give these out to the people in your life that have done something nice for you. Your bank teller, your favorite clerk at the store that you go to all the time, your hair stylist, your, you know, anybody. Just keep one in your purse and if you see somebody having a hard day, give it to them to brighten their day. Oh my gosh. That is gonna be like, you might make somebody cry because that's so nice. Here is my Thanksgiving card. I love, love, love this. This is the um, Day of Thanks stamp set. So yeah, very cool, right? All right, you guys, did anybody have any questions that I missed? I wanna let you guys know before you leave that I am going to be broadcasting my Facebook Live from St. Michael, Minnesota next Sunday. I'm traveling with my mom and my sister up to the Minneapolis area and Terry Sampson, whom I met through my Facebook Live, is um, has actually offered for us to stay in her log cabin the night before we fly out to Kansas. And she also offered to take us to the airport and pick us up when we get back. Like, holy cow, right? So we're going to we're going to do that and I'm going to broadcast my Facebook live from Terry's log cabin next Sunday night. So you don't want to miss that. That should be really cool. I can't hardly wait. She's excited. She is a Stampin' Up demonstrator, so she told her team about it and they're all excited. <laughs> it's going to be a whole bunch of fun. But I will be live next Sunday night at 7 p.m. from St. Michael, Minnesota. So that's going to be fun. And who wants to see those swap cards now? Yeah, Kathy just said, "Don't forget about the swap cards." Oh, and somebody must have asked where to get the candies because somebody said Walmart. I got mine at Walgreens, but yeah, Walmart carries these. They're just about any place that has bags of candy. But yeah, aren't they cool? Because they're like, they're orange. I thought they were going to be gold. I was looking for gold, but they actually worked out really good in here because that looks pretty cool, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to show you those swap cards. Let me move this stuff out of the way. Get some of this picked up a little bit anyways. So I don't throw any of my cards in some inky messes. Holy cow. All kinds of stuff, right? Did you guys ever see these? These are pretty sweet. My Wendy Sue, who sent me the Facebook t-shirt, she made one of these on a 3D printer for me, and it holds my glue. Love it. And a few more things out of the way. 
here we go. Cards, here they come. Of course you guys saw this one, right? Hang on, I got a couple envelopes here that I decorated up. Ah, oh, you're very welcome. Shawnee says, thank you for sharing your great ideas. Don't forget to uh, share my video. Click on that like button. All of that stuff helps me out. If you're watching later on YouTube, please share my video. You can do that on YouTube too. Um, click on the bell at the top. Give me a thumbs up. And I always tell everybody, don't give me a thumbs down. Nobody deserves that. <laughs> if somebody's making a video, they're working hard. Even if it doesn't go great, they still deserve a thumbs up. <laughs> um, so if you don't want to give me a thumbs up, if you're gonna, if you're thinking about giving me a thumbs down, just move along, sister. <laughs> This was super, super cute. This uses the Let It Snow embellishment kit for the little arms. Those are enamel arms and also that cute little hat. I used the, I think this is called the Prose um, Letters dies. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Now, this is all part of the Let It Snow suite, and I do have an online class that is going. Um, it was just announced on Friday. I'm taking reservations. So you get a pre-cut pack a cardstock with one of the options. You can get all of the products and get the class for free and the pre-cut cardstock option as a bonus. But how pretty is this? Something really different, right? White craft ink on black. It's like the chalkboard technique. This is this was made by my friend Candy Michael. And then you guys remember these? These were on a Facebook Live a couple weeks ago. Again, I used that embellishment kit on my snowman. Super cute and some of that um, crystal snow. Yeah, really pretty. Cute little card. Here's a different one where I didn't use the embellishment kit. I used the hat and the punch instead of the mittens and the scarf and the hat and the nose. So just a tiny bit different there. It's another super cute card using, um, these are the designer series papers and this is stamped. Love it. And look at this one. This uses the winter knit embossing folder behind here and a piece of vellum. And this is the snow, the puff paint snow. Look how cute this one is. This is actually punched with the snowman punch, but it's part of the designer series paper. So they punched a snowman out of the designer series paper. Uh, Amy just asked, how does the flap stay in place? Are you talking about this flap, Amy? Because it ties right here. Let me know that that's what you're talking about. Yeah, and if you guys are looking for clear envelopes, the clear envelopes are on the envelope page in the big catalog, and a lot of times people don't know where they are. So let's just go back there, and I will show you where to find them. Um, here's all of our envelopes on page 168. Medium envelopes are regular size envelopes. Those are the envelopes we use for our cards. We have very vanilla, whisper white, and clear. You get 50 clear envelopes for $6, and they're really good quality, nice clear envelopes. So that's where those are coming from. And they have a little peel off sticker on here, so you can peel them off, throw them right in here. Let me show you. I should have packs and packs and packs of them, and I do. <laughs> I use them a lot for swapping, so they come in a pack just like this. Clear medium envelopes. So, good question. Um, does the little box have a name? Um, I think it's just a Hershey Nugget box, or Nugget box. Um, I didn't find it with any particular name. Aren't they just the cutest thing ever, though? I'm going to fix this one I because this one, it's, for some reason, it didn't stick good. and I don't know what happened, but I'll get it fixed because I can't give that away, right? These are just so adorable. So I would call it a nugget box. Okay, let's keep going here. Squirrel. Oh, there's another one of those cards. <laughs> Here's a cute card. And again, this is just punched right out of our designer series paper. That's one of the snowmen on our designer series paper. And I love the little red um rhinestones on the punched out snowflakes. That's done with that everyday punch pack that has the bat, the leaf, the heart, and the snowflake in it with our, uh, what's that paper called? Sparkle glimmer paper. Very cute. Here's that winter knit again. Some of our red glimmer paper here and the snow. The snow looks really cool. No name on that one. Here's another one. This looks like a fun fold. This is by one of my team members, Christine Bertram. 
Let me pull this out. Oh, it is not a fun fold, but it is super cute. And she's got the snow on there also, if you can see that. Look how she used the ribbon for a scarf. That's cool. Here is a gorgeous grape snow card. And I love the pop of Granny Apple Green down here. This is really cute. I don't know who made it, but the front is embossed. Here comes another one. This is Mindy Gray. Isn't that cute? Yeah, I wonder where that hat is coming from. It looks like, oh, it's embossed. It's embossed in the lace embossing folder with the little crosshatch area. There's a crosshatch area. Yeah, that's exactly what she did with that hat. And I like the red rhinestones. We do carry red rhinestones. They're in our um, catalog. And then look at this cute one. Oh, Kathy's asking what was the size of the punches. So this is a two inch punch and then this one is the starburst punch, which is just a little bit bigger. I, I use those two punches a lot because they're quick and easy, right? And Marilyn says you can't get nuggets in Vermont for some reason. Well, that's crazy. I bet you could order them from Amazon. Yeah, somebody just said that. That's so weird. Oh, what else fits in the box? Well, that's a great question. Whoops, my crown just hit my phone. Because while I was at Walgreens today, I bought one of these thinking that that would fit in the box. And it does, but it's a little bit tall. So it... It almost fits. So anything that's about the size of a nugget and the area inside the box, let me measure it for you, is about two and seven eighths by hang on, three inches. So Three by three, I'd say, close to that. Three by three is what, what's in here. So yeah, I, I picked this up thinking that would fit in there. I also picked this up and I'll probably have to eat both of these. Caramel and marshmallow and then coconut nest. This is too big, it will not fit in the box. Yep, that one's way too big. But anything that's three by three and about the size or the height of a Hershey nugget fits in here quite well. Where did my other one, here it is. There we go. All right, okay, let's keep going here. Oh, look at, she used the rhinestones on the hat. That's super cute. And this is kind of a fun fold. I like that one. I don't know who made that card either. Oh, look, I know who made this, me. <laughs> this was my card that I made. And this is a gatefold card. Super cute, right? It's got a little belly band on it. This was on my, I think my Facebook Live a couple weeks ago. You can look back on the videos and find that. And this is the exact same card. I just used different designer series paper on the front. So yeah, really, really cute. And then last but not least, here's that first frost ribbon. Isn't that pretty? And she used um, Wink of Stella on the snowman and some snow here with the swirly background. Uh... Oh yeah, Ghirardelli. Oh, let me see if Ghirardelli fits. Linda says Ghirardelli might fit because I just happen to have these. I know, I'm naughty. So let's see. Dump those out again. Hershey Nuggets are taking a beating tonight. Oh yeah, these fit. You can fit two of them in here. Yep, two of them fit in there. It, it's got a little, no, it's pretty good. It's got a little pushback on it, but that'll be okay, right? Look at that. You could fit two of those and then a couple of Hershey Nuggets. <laughs> I don't know if you want to mix Ghirardelli with Hershey's. Um, these are the dark chocolate sea salt caramel ones. Thanks, Mary Olson, because now this is my favorite and I'm addicted to them. Yeah, but I do have to say that I bought this bag of them quite a while ago, and I still got quite a few in there, so I'm doing pretty good. Little tiny bit of sweet. All right, did I miss, can I see the vellum one again? Okay, hang on, where is the vellum one? Let's see. I like that you guys can ask me questions as long as I pay attention to them, right? She's not answering me. Um, what did I do with it? Did you see her? Oh, I set it over here. Yeah, here you go. 
And you guys know that once this video is over, you can go back in and fast forward or rewind, pause, whatever, to see things again on the video in case I went too fast with something. But you have to wait until it's over, and then I post it. So we'll be pretty good. You will, you have willpower. And those chocolates would not last, Jackie says. Jackie? Yes, I do have pretty good willpower. Some days are better than others. You know what I find when I start feeling a little stressed? I was really stressed out last week. I had just too much on my plate, and I felt like I was like treading water, going backwards, not accomplishing what needed to be accomplished, and drowning. Like, I don't get that way too often, but I really did feel like that last week. And um, I had a day where everything went wrong from the second I woke up. My blog hop went out without anything in it. Um, that was horrible. And then I found out I missed two deadlines that day and I don't do things like that. And I was just like, Oh my Lord, that's when I start grabbing the candy and the crap food. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's a nervous thing with me, but I got a hold of my day. Like I got things under control. I told myself, calm your butt down. You're not going to accomplish anything like this and get your nose to the grindstone and catch up so that you don't feel overwhelmed like this. That doesn't happen to me very often. Once in a great while. I'm usually pretty cool and calm and roll with the flow, but last week things just kind of really, ooh, it got it got a little rough for a few days, but I'm good now. I'm always good when I'm stamping with you guys, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, there's my projects for tonight. I can't wait to see. I hope you guys share what you make with these. I want to see what you're making. Like, yeah, chocolate cures all troubles, Lois says. You darn right it does, Lois. I like you. <laughs> and I got to fix this box because something went wrong with it. But you saw this one. This would fit good. Oh, and I used the braided trim here for my string because I just think that goes along with fall. It's, I don't know, manly and whatever. But, um, yeah, these are super, super cute. Can you see these as stocking stuffers too? I mean, seriously. You could put a gift card, a gift card. Oh, I didn't even think about it. A gift card would fit right here. Yeah. So you could add a little candy to your gift card. I'll probably make another one of these and share it with a Christmas theme. Because I'm thinking this would be really cute. So watch for that online class, you guys. Um, it's on my blog from Friday. Again, if you would like to get the pre-cut cardstock pack, let me know. If you order the whole suite that I have listed, all you have to do is fill in a form and pay my PayPal invoice when I send it to you, and I will um, order all the stuff for you, and you'll get the online class for free and the pre-cut cardstock pack. If you don't want to order the suite from me, the class and the cardstock pack is $35. If you just want the online class, it is $25. So let me know. Super, super fun. Oh, somebody, Debbie lost somebody. I'm so sorry, Debbie. I missed what you said, but I see somebody offering you condolences. My heart goes out to you. And Sarah, you're welcome. Oh, she lost both of her parents within six weeks of each other. Oh, I'm so very sorry. That's terrible. Prayers to you, my friend. All right, I'm just looking back through comments. And I think we're done. All right. I heard my husband come home. He's out in the garage. I'm going to go say hey. I'm going to start downloading this video right away so that I can get it uploaded to YouTube and get it posted. I'll type up these dimensions right away, too, so you guys don't have to wait if you want to get started on these tonight because I know I would. And where'd that candy go? I love coconut. I might eat this. I hope Bev's not watching. She's my weight loss coach. <laughs> She would not be impressed with me eating this. All right, you guys. I hope you have a wonderful week. Watch for my blog hop tomorrow. Um, you'll find all the ingredients and everything for the projects we made here tonight on my blog, probably tonight or sometime in the morning. And my Wednesday tip video is going to be a good one. Don't miss that. And then, of course, I have my newest Creativity Without Borders kit class going um, into pre-registration mode on Friday. I'll share a video with you using the Brightly Gleaming Suite. Have yourselves a wonderful, fabulous week, and thank you once again for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend it with me. Bye-bye.